Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Miss Lori, and welcome to my homestead. You're at Whippoorwill Holler, where you're always welcome to come sit down and uh, just learn a few things and chat with us for a while, because we love y'all so much. Today is really exciting for me because I'm part of a collaboration with a bunch of, of really talented women for the uh, month of January, and it's called Canuary. And every day, if you go to each one of these ladies' links, which I'm going to put down below in my description box, you're going to see a new canning video every day for the month of January. These ladies are very talented, and you're going to learn a lot. A lot of new recipes and uh, learn how to can. And uh, I know that there's a lot of y'all that are wanting to, to learn these skills. And if you're an avid canner, you like to learn new recipes. So these ladies, you go to their channels and they're going to teach you a lot about canning and a lot about a lot of stuff. Um, canning is a skill that's been passed down for so many years and um, we sure don't want it to be lost. So if we can all stick together and teach each other, uh, maybe we can keep passing it down. You know, they say it takes a village to raise one child. But it takes a community to help each other and teach each other skills, learn skills. And um, whether if you've done it all your life or if you're just new at it, even as long as I've been doing I'm learning stuff every day. So what we're doing today is before Thanksgiving, <laughs> I bought a couple of turkeys that were on sale. And uh, they were 89 cents a pound. So how can you pass that out? Uh, because that's even cheaper than lunch meat. You go think about it. And uh, I thought, well, I'm going to go ahead and get two of them. And I think uh, they weighed anywhere from 12 to 14 pounds a piece. They weren't real big. but uh, And then I was given a turkey. So three turkeys. <laughs> so in my mind, I'm thinking I'm going to can a bunch of it up. Not only the meat, but for the broth, too. So that's what, what we're going to be doing today. And not only for turkey, you can do chicken this way, too. So we're going to be getting this beautiful broth. We're going to be getting some turkey meat that we can make so many different recipes with. So it does save you money. It is healthier for you. And it can also be for convenience. Because if I can come in and open up a can of my home canned turkey and some of my other canned vegetables, I've got a supper and I've got it pretty quick when I come in from work. So that's always a good thing. So let's get started cooking uh, our turkey, making our beautiful broth and getting it canned up. And then after that, we're going to do a little bit of a recipe because so, a lot of people say, now once you can this up, no matter what it is, they'll say, what do you make out of these meats or veggies or whatever that you can? Show us a recipe using it. So that's what we're going to be doing today. It's going to be a really easy one. So let's get started. Okay, Mr. Brown cut my turkey up for me, y'all. He's done a good job. Now, we didn't just cut it up in small pieces because I've got a big pot up here. I'm going to put it in to make my turkey and my turkey broth but uh, here it is he's got it cut up we just left the, the breast and everything on the bone because that bone is what's going to make that broth really good too so I, we got that done i think that was about a 12 pound turkey wasn't it? yeah it was about 12 pound turkey big turkey in fact i've got two more that i'm going to do but i just want to do it in batches i didn't want to do it all at one time because i just really don't have time and then right here, we got our veggies, uh, we got our carrots, and uh, I got two big onions I just cut in half, and then I've got a whole bundle of celery. So we're gonna get all this in the pot and get it on the stove and get it cooking because I'm gonna let it cook for several hours to get some good broth. I'm gonna show y'all my big pot here. This is a 16 quart, um, it's a tri-ply stainless steel pot. And it held that whole turkey and all my veggies. See, I got them all in there. Now we're just going to start putting our seasoning in there. 
And like I always say, season your food the way you like it. I'm going to put about three-fourths of a tablespoon of peppercorns. When I'm making broth, I like to use peppercorns. <clears throat> and I'm going to put, this is sea salt. I don't want to put too much salt. I'm put about a teaspoon for right now. I've got some sage from the garden. Put about a teaspoon and a half. I got some rosemary from the garden. About a teaspoon. And I've got some parsley, dried parsley from the garden. And I'm going to put just a probably a couple of tablespoons of parsley. Just a little stick there. And we're going to put some thyme. Good teaspoon. And we're just going to go from there. Now I'm also, because I love it so much, I'm going to put some garlic in there. And that's just up to y'all if you want garlic in your broth and your chicken. Put about a teaspoon. So I'm going to stir this and put the lid on it. Um, if it was, I could cook it all day on my wood cook stove, but not everybody has a wood cook stove, so we're going to do it on top of regular gas stove. And uh, we're going to let it cook most of the day. We'll come back and debone our chicken, strain our broth, and we'll can it all up. Okay, we got our turkey out of the pot. And I've been cooking this turkey for probably, I don't know, probably about four hours today. It's just been simmering on the, on the stove all day while I was busy doing other stuff. So I got the turkey out, and it's back here cooling off. And I went through here and made sure I didn't have any bones left in there. But I left all my veggies. And you can see that the broth is about half of what it was when you take all that turkey out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this back up with water. And I'm going to turn my burner back on. And I'm going to heat this up a little bit more and just let it simmer a little bit more. And uh, after that, gets, I'm going to get all my jars and uh, get everything ready to get it canned. But I want this to be good and heated through. So, we're going to do that right now. I'm going to let my, my turkey cool off. Get my jars ready, get everything going. And uh, we'll be back probably in about 10 minutes or so. I think before this gets too much warmer, I'm wanting to, and y'all remember, I did not take out my carrots, my celery, and my onions. And there's some still some whole peppercorns in there, and that's okay too. But I'm wanting to keep all this good veggies and um, all this nutrition in with this canned turkey. So now that I've took all my bones and all my turkey meat out, and before I warm this up any longer, I'm going to take my immersion blender and I'm going to blend all this up. Well, that took about five minutes, but I finally got it. All them carrots and everything pureed. And I want you to look how pretty that broth is. It's going to be good and healthy too because it's got all the carrots and celery and onions in there. Now that's not something you have to do. If you want to, you can strain all that out before you can your chicken. Um, this is going to be really good for just a lot of different dishes. This will make a really good uh, pot of if you got somebody sick that needs some uh, something good and nurturing. Like chicken noodle soup or something this is going to be great so i'm going to go ahead and get the turkey meat off my bones and i'm going to turn this on low and it's just going to simmer and stay hot till i get ready for it well 
Okay, we got our turkeys ready. I got my hot jars out here. My pressure canner has got three quarts of water in it and it's heating up. And I've got my, my broth over here. So the first thing we're gonna do is uh, see how many of these quart jars I can fill up with uh, this turkey meat and uh, the broth. Now for quarts, you're gonna need to pressure can this. At my altitude, it'll be uh, about 11 pounds pressure for 90 minutes for quarts. Be 75 minutes for pints. And there's so many things that you can do with this canned turkey. You can make, get that out of there. You can make turkey and rice, just like you were making chicken and rice. You can make turkey and dumplings. You can make um, turkey and noodles, just like you were making chicken and noodles. You can make a pot pie with it. Just add your veggies and your crust. There's just a lot of different recipes. And I'll go over some more here in a little bit. I want to get this done and get my meat in here. And all my jars. I'm hoping I can fill my jars up, my quarts. And then uh, we'll come back and we'll get our broth in there so we can get them in the canner. up with five quarts of turkey meat and broth and then I've got two quarts of just the broth um, but I've got enough left in my pan that I'm gonna have another canner full and I'll probably do it in pints and I should have a canner full of pints I'm, I'm pretty sure I've got that much broth left so this 12 pound turkey was 89 cents a pound. So it was $10.68. Yes. So we will get five meals plus some really beautiful broth. Quite a bit to put on the, in the pantry. I don't know why I'm doing that. I need to debubble. Always debubble. And I put these in wide mouth jars. I, when I'm canning meats and stuff like that, I like to use wide mouth jars. Now, you would think there would have been more meat than that on a 12 pound turkey, but there really isn't. <laughs> I mean, you, the most meat you're going to get is off the breast and a little bit off the thigh and, and the and the leg, but that's what it that's what it made. So that's pretty cheap for that many meals, and uh, that much broth to put in the pantry. So I'm cleaning the tops of these to make sure there's nothing on the top of the rim that's going to cause it not to seal. I debubbled it. Now we're going to put our lids on. Cleaned it tight. Ten pounds of pressure. Like I said, for quarts it's 90 minutes. So let me get these done and we'll get them in the canner. It's been venting for 10 minutes now. We're going to go ahead and put our weight on. And we're going to watch our pressure. And uh, when it gets up to about 11 pounds of pressure, and I'm going to time it for 90 minutes. Okay, so we got our turkey and our broth out. After 90 minutes, it's done. Um, I let it depressurize for just a little out over an hour. 
I got my jars out, and uh, it all looks really good. So we got plenty to put on in the pantry. We got more that we need to do because I got more turkeys out in the freezer. This is going to make us a lot of meals. It's well worth the effort. Saves you money, saves you time. Hey, our recipe today with our canned turkey and broth is going to be a very comforting but very easy uh, turkey and noodles. This is really easy to put together and I'm using, these are frozen homestyle egg noodles that you get at Walmart or some of your other grocery stores in the freezer aisle. Now, what you can do that I do, but I haven't done in a while and I need to, is to make your homemade noodles up, spread them out on a sheet pan, flash freeze them, and then bag them, and you'll have egg noodles for a long time. Um, you can also dehydrate your egg noodles too. That's a whole different video. But anyways, we're going to start with this recipe. If I can turn the right burner on. There we go. And like I said when I was showing y'all, this, that pot, that one turkey, that 12-pound turkey, made, um, it only made five quarts of meat, but... Um, for a 12-pound turkey, you know, that's about what you're going to get off of it. But it made seven quarts of broth. So if I do that three times, I'm going to have quite a bit on the shelf. But anyways, even at one turkey, that's quite a bit to put on your shelf. And if you go to figuring out how much um, you're saving on your broth and your turkey meat, and for each menu you make, it's going to be pretty cheap when you figure it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour two quarts of my beautiful broth in here. And that is some rich broth, y'all. Especially when I use that immersion blender on it and blended all them carrots and celery and onion. Just devoured it in with that broth. So we add two quarts of broth. I'm going to add my quart of turkey meat. I'm going to bring this up to boil, then I'm going to put my noodles in. It's only going to take about 20 minutes to cook your noodles. We'll add a little bit of cream to it. We're going to add a few veggies to it. And uh, we're going to have a meal about that fast. Okay, our broth. I can hear it, and I can hear it simmering in there. Well, it's boiling pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and put our noodles in here. And I think I'm going to go ahead and put all 24 ounces in here. Put a little bit in, just kind of stir it. And put the rest of your noodles in there. Let's kind of stir it. And when they're frozen like that, they kind of stick together. Just kind of break them up a little bit. We're going to put a few uh, herbs in here too. And in my little bowl here, I've got salt and pepper. I've got some thyme. got a little bit of garden sage and parsley. And uh, that's what we're going to put in here. Just put the amount that you want. I've got about a, t um, a teaspoon of, of all of it pretty much. And just stir it up good. Now we're just going to put a lid on this. And we're going to let it simmer for about 20 minutes. And the noodles should be good and done. Okay, our noodles are good and done. It's smelling really good. So what we're going to do, at this point, you can just add any of your vegetables that you like or what you've got in your pantry. I'm putting some peas, some green peas, and I'm going to put some um, carrots in here that come out of the pantry. I think they've been in there, well, they're going on two years. So... We'll be using them. Carrots last a good while in the pantry and they taste so good. I just can them in water. And we're going to add about a fourth a cup of heavy cream. Now, if you don't have heavy cream, you can use half and half. Um, or you can just use regular whole milk. Um, it's pretty much to help just 
make it a little bit richer and to thicken it up a little bit because we're going to go ahead and put the lid on it and let it go ahead and simmer for just another 15 minutes just to get everything warm through. So why do we can? This is the reason we can. Beautiful, beautiful food. Nutritious. I hope you like this video. Check out the other ladies. Their links will be down below in the description box. Y'all give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up and God bless everybody.